What's going on YouTube? You're looking at my budget build CRG racing cart. I paid $450 for this cart, along with all these tires. And the cart had no damage. The chassis was actually completely fine. Um, the guy just had a bunch of them, was trying to liquidate. This was a Rotex 125 single speed. And this is the only thing that I had when I bought the cart that was Rotax. There's no radiator. I did have the wiring harness. Um, that doesn't do much good. So I decided to go with the Predator motor and build this to be uh, a 16 horsepower. So cam, uh, billet rod, flywheel. This is still obviously stock. It's going to be 16 horsepower. So I decided to go with a much beefier clutch. As is the bully clutch, this is the newest uh, edition of it. Running the inverted clutch like this, it creates some clearance issues instead of just having your small sprocket, uh, you know, right here towards the end, this bolt right here, you'd be recessed back. As you can see, I am at least an inch past the end of my crank and the outer diameter is much larger, which makes fitment an issue. So since this was a Rotex 125 cart, the seat post uh, was not in the correct area. I did not feel bad about cutting this off because somebody had already welded it before and they weren't the best of welds. I tried to bend it, the chromoly cracked, even with heat, it does not, I th it was already, someone had bent it before. I don't know how many times this thing's been heated and bent, so it, it snapped. Not a big deal, we have a fab shop, but, the other fitment issues I had with running that inverted clutch is right here. As you can see, this looks like it's been sanded down, because I did. I had to use, uh, these were hex heads, I had to use a Allen button head, and then I also had to countersink these stainless uh, sprocket screws so they clearance the chassis, and you can see that button head right there. And it all has about an eighth of an inch of clearance now, which I wish it had a little more, well, maybe a sixteenth to an eighth. It's pretty tight, but um, we're going to test it out and see how it does. I, I can take some more material, uh, as you can see, out of it. I'd rather not, but I definitely can. So yeah, the chain alignment has been the first, probably the, will only be the only fitment uh, issues. The universal billet mount that I got from Go Power Sports, which is really nice, is not machined all the way through. You see this square right here? I wish this was a slit from one side to the other, and that way you could simply shift the motor all the way left, all the way right. It's not how it works. It stops about, it from about this hole, about halfway to the end of that last hole is where the slot is. Let's see if you can see it. Yep right there and then it stops halfway and then you have this machine square the problem with that machine square is that you can't really put anything in it so i actually notched i notched the square and made it to where this bolt could fit and that's where my uh, sprocket lines up perfectly and also i can't shift too far over because then i'm hitting the clutch in the seat so as you can see the seat is offset you can use this as a reference right here um but that's what it took and the other problem this is probably a, considered a large seat i'm about 200 to 210 my dad's probably right about 220 that seat is very tight on me it's going to be too tight for him so unfortunately we're going to actually get a little more width i cut the back side of this seat post um, which has already been welded by somebody else that way i can kind of slowly fold it over and figure out where i want to be uh, there's not too much more wiggle room. I can always take a sanding flapper wheel down. It takes off some of that fiberglass. But we're going to wait for the new seat. So these are the fitment issues um, that you might run into converting a 125 to a Predator 212. And I really considered doing a, a Briggs & Stratton, the uh, 206, for actually for a racing series. The reality is that I barely have time to do anything so if i have something to the track just for practice or for fun i want to have 16 horsepower and not a stock 206 so stay tuned the other project is upstairs 
That's another CRG uh, chassis with front and rear brakes. And there is a 2011 Ninja 250. And that's gonna be my cart, the shifter. That's gonna be a ball. So will this, stay tuned and thanks for watching.